abolishing Greek life is a fantastic step towards making college campuses more equitable. I don't think the answer of abolishing all Greek life will solve any of these actual problems. My place now um, is to try and dismantle this system. This summer, as Americans marched in the streets, reckoning with systemic racism across the nation, some college students looked at campus life through a new lens and began to question the role of Greek life in perpetuating inequality. An abolished Greek life movement began to form, and it took root at Vanderbilt University, where nearly a third of students participate in the Greek system. It focused on those fraternities and sororities that have historically catered to white students. These systems, their whole purpose is to exclude. It was a um, space that was created for exclusively um, higher socioeconomic status and white individuals. In the wake of George Floyd's murder, no one in my story had talked about it. It seemed like in my life, everyone was engaged. And there is zero zilch in our sorority group chat. Um, and in a space where I had once considered community and I called my called these girls my sisters. Um, I just couldn't justify continuing to do that. I was like, I'm done. This is exhausting. Peace out. What seems unique about what's going on right now is that it's coming not just from students, but from students who are themselves in fraternities and sororities. I have not in the 200 some odd year history of fraternities seen anything like that before. I didn't want to be associated with Greek life anymore. I'd, I wanted to wash my hands of it and be done with it because I was so embarrassed to have ever been a part of it. Over the summer, Emma Pinto created an Instagram account that anonymously shares students' negative experiences with Vanderbilt's Greek system. We've had a couple of schools where people reach out to our account asking um, how, they, how they could get started. Similar abolish accounts have helped spark debates on other campuses and reports of racist posts and threats online have amplified the calls to abolish. It has to be the administration that decides to once and for all remove these organizations from campus. And we know they have the power, we just want them to do it. In the last few decades, some universities have gotten rid of Greek life on campus, often in response to misconduct. At Vanderbilt, um, you know, fraternities have a huge presence. They're really a, a central part of the social life. So if they're under cha challenge at Vanderbilt, I think they could be under challenge anyway. I could not, with a clear conscience, support the Abolish Greek Life movement, at least in its current iteration, even though many of its intentions were noble and needed. A divide has formed at Vanderbilt between abolishing Greek life and reforming it. You actually have chapters on campus that have done wonderful things, more so than other parts of non-Greek campus when it comes to combating sexual assault and combating racism, uh, to then just say, oh no, everyone's the same, they're all irredeemable, uh, everyone that doesn't drop their affiliation is upholding white supremacy and contributing to rape culture. Uh, that doesn't build the bridges that we need to make campus a better place. Bauman says his fraternity re-examined its protocols to ensure they promoted inclusivity and safety. This is how we can ensure that people are safe, secure, happy, able to prosper at our events, uh, and that we can be there for the community. Greek life has taken a hit from COVID-19 this year, too. Many U.S. colleges linked outbreaks to fraternity parties and Greek housing. When school resumed in the fall, Vanderbilt put strict limits on group gatherings. Greek life has really for generations been a public health problem. And I think that's coming to the fore in you know, the era of COVID-19. At one point, um, an organization of insurers rated, uh, rated fraternities as just above toxic waste dumps. If you talk privately to college presidents, many of them would say they wished that they didn't have to deal with all the problems that happened at, uh, at chapter houses. But they understand that fraternities are popular, that um, Members of fraternities are more likely to donate to college campuses. College presidents have lost their jobs when they've taken on fraternities. Abolish organizers estimate that about 300 students have left the Greek system since May, although the university hasn't provided up-to-date official membership numbers. A modified version of Rush began this fall and will conclude in the new year. Time asked first-year students what impact, if any at all, the pandemic and the Abolish movement were having on their decisions. Maybe my first day on campus, I had an upperclassman friend tell me like, oh, like a whole bunch of people quit Greek life because of the movement. If you were interested in Greek life like I was, it makes you want to go back and consider like, is 
something that I really want to do. But I also do think a lot of people ended up deciding to rush, um, just from my perspective, because I think COVID played a role in terms of like wanting that sense of community. And I think um, the Greek community and sororities especially can provide me a way to meet people that I wouldn't be able to meet in other situations. I mean, the typical idea is like this brotherhood, but like actually like just having like a group of guys that like on any given day, I can be like, hey, like who wants to grab dinner? Who wants to grab lunch? And, you know, one out of 80 people would be like, oh yeah. The stories I heard, it did impact my view overall. And that trickled down into my view of black sororities. They were founded specifically in response to this exclusivity. The Greek life overall doesn't really align with my values. From what I've noticed, the majority of people here on campus still support Greek life, but they are the silent majority. Regardless of how many students choose to reject or join Greek life, the conversation on campus is an indicator of how a new generation hopes to bring about change.